the diamond sutra surrender and illusion indeed surrender is just an illusion yet still it is the essential prerequisite to be in the company of the master yet still surrender is essential prerequisite to be in the company of the master and to continue the inward journey because in surrendering to the master you only surrender that which does not exist that you think it exists but it does not exist surrender implies that which you do not have and you think that you have has to be surrendered to the master what is that you think you have and in reality you do not have you do not really have the ego the i-ness the self ego is the false identity it appears to exist but in reality it does not you do not have it really you are living in a kind of an illusion that you are separate from the existence you are separate from the existence and your existence is just like robinson crusoe the man on the lonely island but in reality it is not so you are living in a kind of a illusion that you are separate from existence that separation really does not exist there is a power within that knows beyond our knowings we are not aliens nor as a strangers joined we are bound to each other by a causeless force we are bound to each other by a causeless force you cannot live even for a split of a second a split of a moment separate you cannot live like an island you are part of the whole the whole goes on participating in your being in myriad ways the whole goes on showering you with its energy field with its myriad gifts but you have the idea that i am separate from the whole no one likes me etc it is the mind that gives this impression of separateness remember human mind is dualistic it is the mind that gives you the impression of separateness human mind is dualistic it feeds on the duality one moment mind feels happy next moment it feels sad neither of the two is permanent neither happiness nor sadness the i-ness has to be surrendered to a master and you do not have it yet still you carry in your imagination it is not in your nature and because it is not in your nature so you will not be really surrendering something to the master surrender is just an illusion therefore you are surrendering that which is not there which does not exist which is an illusion when you are to surrender something that does not exist that which is an which is illusion then surrender becomes illusion let me repeat that which you do not have or that exist as a mirage master wants to take away 
that from you. We continue to live in our dead past. We are overwhelmed. We suffer because we consider that to be our way of life. But in reality, that past does not exist. An event of the past that goes on deciding your course of life your actions, your thinking, your way of living in the world is all illusion. That circumstance and situation does not exist, but it leaves an scar. For instance, you get burnt. The burn with that, a part of your body gets a scar, burnt. There is a wound. The wound can be removed. It can take maybe a few days to heal. After it is healed, it leaves a scar depending on the intensity of the burn. And then along with that, something psychological comes. That which is psychological effect of that scar does not really exist except in your psyche. You have to surrender this to the Master, your eyes. Your life up to now, life as a serpent, and you do not have it yet, still you can this in your imagination. It is not in your nature, so you will not be really surrendering something tangible to the Master. Surrender, therefore, is just an illusion. You are surrendering that which is illusory in you. Let me repeat. That which you do not have, or that exists only as a mirage, Master wants to take away from you. This is surrender. And that which you have, the Master will give it back to you renewed. Your reality, He gives back to you. You have forgotten about it. You cannot remember that this is your nature. Your nature is an overflow of love, understanding for the entire humanity. This you have forgotten and you are living as a false entity. And your unreality the Master takes away from you and makes you once again acquainted with your nature. Your past and future, all I want to take away from you and then I want to bring you to this very moment, the now here. This is transformation. This is surrender. And because of this, past that you continue to live, its memories, its effects, has been keeping you miserable, not trusting. And life could have been blissful this very moment, but it is not because of that burden that you have been carrying. Remember when you surrender your ego, you are not losing anything. Instead, you gain. You gain reality. You discover your original face. It is as if you were sleeping and you were dreaming as well. And then suddenly the master comes to wake you up. Only your dream is lost. You have lost Nothing in reality.
The dream was not there in the first place. It was not a reality. It was a dream, only a dream. And now you open your eyes. The sun of awareness is on the rise. It is morning and the sun is rising and the birds are chirping, the trees are happy with the new day. It is the dawn of new awakening, new joy, new bliss. The Master gives you that which is and takes away that which is not. He wakes you up. Also he makes sure that that you do not fall back in the trap of your dream again. You do not lose anything really. You do not lose anything really. And remember the Master does not gain anything because of your surrender. So never be misguided or be misguided. Never think that the Master will be gaining anything out of your surrender. You have been carrying an unnecessary burden, a garbage with you. He takes away that. He knows how to dispose of that garbage. Never think that Master will be gaining anything out of your surrender. The Master gains nothing. When he wakes you up, your dream is lost, but the Master does not get your dream. Otherwise, the Master would never have asked to surrender your ego to Him. If the Master gets burdened with the dream of His disciples or their mental clatter, He will be almost crushed, killed. It is something like that. He is connected through an invisible to a special drainage system. The moment you surrender your ego, your past, your clutter of the mind, it immediately goes through that channel into an unknown of the dream. I have heard, once a man visited his friend. The friend was very afraid because of his past experiences with this man. He bored him so much that his dog, he, that his dogs for hours and hours. And then when he was leaving, he said, this is a strange. When I came, I had a head headache. Now that headache is gone. And the host who was the victim told his friend not to worry because he has taken his headache and that the headache has not disappeared. Instead, it has changed the heads only. Such is not the case when the master takes away your ego. As a result, when you surrender the ego, the master does not get it. When you surrender your headache, I do not get anything out of it. There is nothing to worry. So never be miserly. Also, never think that the Master must be piling up great treasures because so many people are surrendering to Him. So many people are surrendering to Him. The Master does not get anything. What you surrender is nothing. But what you gain is much more than you surrender much more than your surrender. You cannot really imagine what you are getting. You get reality. You get your authenticity back. You get your nature back. This is surrender. 
you surrender your ego you surrender all that does not exist in you except in your memory and you consider it as your only treasure so remember when you are surrendering you are surrendering all that is false and when you surrender all that is false false you gain something and what you gain you gain the experience within and out of this experience when world overflows these have some fragrance of that which you are your buddha nature you can overflow that which is your essence and that which is your essence is the way of the masters you can overflow any master or any path only when it evolves out of your innerness and surrender is complete master has finished the process of transformation first the experience has to be within you and then words will evolve out of your innerness as your own growth only then your words will have the fragrance of that master remember your essential nature is that you are eternal you have always been there has never been any time when you were not here however the form has been different each time you assume the form the body the mind intellect and ego sense the realm differs an awakened one remembers all this he has the awareness to remember it all if the need be there this is what enlightenment is you have experienced your eternal nature and having experienced it innerness your actions and words evolve as beauty and fragrance